Good morning, friends. I, yep, I was at a meeting today. I almost forgot what I was saying, Melanie. Um, I was at a meeting today and it's part of a big group and we're doing something that I can't talk about. So, but it's going to impact the community and it's really cool. Anyway, so, but one of the things that came up is the importance of community and connection and um, making sure everyone in our community is connected, especially if they're kind of on the marginalized, you know, if they have some of our um, maybe returning citizens, maybe they're have disabilities, which of course is my baby, or maybe they have mental health issues, which of course is just exploded. So the importance of connection. And one of the people there said, um, a certain surgeon general had something on today and it was all about the importance of connection and how one in two people were feeling lonely before the pandemic. And of course now it's just nuts. Could, I can't even think of like what that would be more than more than one in two people because it's not everyone, but it it's just crazy. So um, and actually he talked about loneliness and it was on the May 2nd, if you're wondering, because this is not today that we're talking about. <laughs> anyway, May 2nd, there was something with the Surgeon General. I think he was on some kind of news show. But one thing he said was that social connection equals survival. And I thought that was so powerful. In fact, we're going to use that in what we're doing in our community. But social connection equals survival. And, you know, Melanie and I talked about that and how it, but we had said it used to be that way for literal physical survival. But you know what? Apparently it still is because now it's not so much that you might die of starvation or you might, but people are literally dying of loneliness. They're dying of suicide. They're dying from mental health issues. So really, really um, sad, but also it's, it's easily, I want to say fixed, <laughs> but I, it's just, it's as easy as maybe picking up a phone and calling somebody or doing a visit or taking tea, which is my whole thing about connection we have third world countries who are a lot better at doing this than we are yeah. and how social media has impacted a lot of people and our, our young people, but not just our young people. I, I think even our generation has forgotten how to not forgotten, but maybe forgotten the importance of picking up a phone or inviting to tea instead of just sending a text or maybe not connecting at all. So I don't know, Mel. Yeah. The other thing about social media is is the fact that it's too easy, in my opinion, to just say something that you would never say to somebody's face, just putting it out there. Yeah. And the other thing is that what we see from other people is their best self, right? So so many so many times we're like, oh man, that that person's got it all. They're going on vacation and they're doing this and their families are getting together and they're getting together with friends and they're, and you know, here I am, I'm just, you know, doing my thing, working and, you know, maybe, but those other people probably have that going on too, but what they're sharing is what's exciting in their life right now. So that's not that that's all there is going on in their life, but it's what we see through social media. So I just, yeah, first of all, just be careful when you're out on social media. There's a lot of good, I, I love all the connection, but, yep. but there's a lot of just junk and stuff that can just make you feel bad. And just be aware, just be aware of how it's affecting you. If, if you feel good when you're on there and it's, and it's making you feel good, great. If you're starting to feel bad about yourself, your circumstances or your whatever, if it's making you feel bad in any way, take a break or get off of it. I and look for those connections in person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're much more powerful in person. And I know. And honestly, I mean, I I only post stuff, positive stuff on Facebook because I it's not my whole life, but I don't want to post negative stuff. If I have a problem, if I'm having whatever, I'll talk to Melanie. I'll talk to somebody, but I'm not going to post it for the whole world to see and share. Right. And so it, it's true. We only see that much of somebody's snapshot of what's really going on in their lives and anyway um I've been reading some books by Jess Rolney and she's in our community and she wrote she is the Lucas Project so you can look her up that way but one of the books she wrote is um yep not gonna remember it blended with grit and grace but I don't think it's in that one she talks about social media 
and how she got, she took all her apps off because she found she was constantly picking up her phone and checking Facebook and doing the thing. And I, every time she had a couple seconds and I thought, yep, I do that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll take the app off, but I thought I could put it somewhere else. So it's not right next to me. And then I'll just decide when I, you know, how often I'm going to check it. But I do that. If I have like 10 seconds, I'll be like, oh, what's going on? You know, my, my email, my Facebook, all of it. So yeah, yeah, they have to do what's right for each one of us. And it's different for each one of us. It is, but the, but the key really is is taking time to notice what what is working for you personally. Mm -hmm. That's it's really key. And the thing is, sometimes when it's that when we're that ingrained in it, we don't even take the time to do that. So just give yourself some time to focus in on yourself and see what you need. Mm -hmm. And if you do need a friendly face or somebody to go take tea, <laughs> so we're we're around. If if you're local. Let us know. We'll actually meet you in person to take tea. We would love that. But, uh, you know, phone call away. Mm -hmm. you should, yep. that, that loneliness thing just makes us sad that anybody feels like they, that that needs to be their existence because that's just sad. Mm -hmm. And it's too easy to get tunnel vision that and think your whole life is this and it's not. There's a whole world out there. Sometimes even just stepping outside and being in nature, we've talked about that, reminds us that there's a whole world, you know, I'm just this one little speck and I, yeah, it's just really important to connect with each other. So we're here, reach out. Yep. All right, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.